Hi, this is Carl from Scrollsolve Video. Welcome to this tutorial, part two on using the trim command in Corel Draw. Part one, I showed you how to make this object right here, which looks like a bench leg to a woodworking project. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this project, which looks like a stamp. This item could be used several ways, such as making a jigsaw puzzle for your kids or grandkids. So let's get started on this. Uh, very simple project, similar to this one over here on the left. But we're going to use circles, a square, and we're going to use a new tool called Snap Two Objects. So I'm going to move this over to the side. I'm going to left click and move it over. Move this one out of the way. I'm going to pull this one down so we can use it as a reference. I want to X out of here. Okay, first thing I want to do, come over to the left. Left click on the rectangle tool. Bring our crosshair back over to the drawing area. And holding down the control key and at the same time left clicking and dragging, I'm going to draw a square where all sides equal. Okay, just for this tutorial, uh, your size may be different, and we're going to show an example here. But for this tutorial, I'm going to make it four and three quarters square. Whoops, excuse me, I wrote seven and three quarters. I'm going to change it to 4.75. Hit enter. And the square is still highlighted because it has the black nodes around the border. So I'm hit the P on the keyboard, which will center that onto the page. And next step, I'm going to come over to the Ellipse tool. On my previous video, I call it the Eclipse tool. And uh, I was corrected by a couple of people, so I'm going to try to get it right this time. It's the ellipse tool. Go left click. Come back over to the drawing area. Hold down the control key and left click and drag a circle. The reason I hold down the control key is if I did not, it would be harder to get a perfect circle. I hold down the control key and left click it draws a perfect circle. So I'm going to delete that and delete this. Okay, come back over here to the pick tool, which is your on the top left. Highlight the circle, and I'm going to size it to half of an inch, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, enter. And as I said earlier, your sizes were probably different than mine. I'm just using this for tutorial purposes. Okay, I'm going to set up the snap two objects now. So we'll come up here to the to view button, left click, scroll down to the snap two objects setup, and left click. This window will pop up now. Now I'm going to check the midpoint and the edge. I will not use the node. I will not use the intersection. I will not use the quadrant, tangent, perpendicular, center, or te text baseline. I only want the edge and the midpoint and hit OK. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. You'll notice where my pointer is. 
moving the rolling wheel on your mouse if you roll away from you it zooms in if you roll towards you it zooms out so I'm going to zoom in click on this circle bring it down and it might be hard to notice but as I get closer to this line you'll see where the edge word is written let me zoom in a little bit closer I'll pull this down again I'm going to come down here the closer I get to the line you'll see the word edge okay now I'm going to move it to the right try to get to the midpoint you see if I come off of the the center point on the uh, line the word edge goes away I get back to the center the edge will reappear I'll keep on scrolling to the right whoops there it is I'm at the midpoint you'll see the little blue triangle and the word midpoint I'll scroll into that again I'm taking it off center I'm going to bring it down to my edge you see the word edge come up and I'm going to go to the right whoops there it is, set that point. Okay. I'm going to sc scroll up back from there so you can see where the object is located. Looks good to me. So I'm going to highlight that again with the pick tool. Hit the plus key on the numeric keyboard. That makes a copy of your object that is highlighted. I'm going to bring it down here to the left side and do the same thing. There it's at the midpoint and the edge. Same thing on the other two sides. Hit the plus key. Come down here to the bottom and do the same thing. Okay. Now we have the basic square and the layout of the circles okay let's go start at the top one there might be different ways of doing this but this is the way I have learned how to do it and it works for me uh, you might find a different way that works even better if you do let me know okay I'm going to left click on the circle hit the plus key and the up and down arrows I'm going to Go to the right, one, two, three, four, five, six, plus key, one, two, three, four, five, six, plus key, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, highlight the center again, plus key, one, two, three, four, five, six, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, plus one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I can copy all these at one time and move them to these other different sides of the square. But I find it just as easy to just go ahead and do each side individually. So I'm going to do the bottom now. Hit the plus key. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Plus key with the right button. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus. Six. Okay, on the sides are done the exact same way. Except for, we'll hit the plus key. Now hit the up button. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus. Now the down key. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, the left side. Plus up key. Now 
plus, hit the down key. Like I said earlier, your distances and your squares and your circle sizes will probably be different than what I have here. Okay. This is what it looks like now. You'll have, I like using odd numbers on each side. I think it looks more pleasing. Okay, now we're going to make it look like this. So I'm going to come up here. The pick tool is, is uh, selected. I'm going to group all these together or everything is highlighted. Come back up here to Windows. Scroll down to the Dockers window. You'll have a flyout menu to the right. Come down to Shaping. Left click. And this window will come up to the right. Now deselect Source Objects and Target Objects. You do not, do not want those checked. Okay. All my circles and my squares are selected from pre a couple of seconds ago. So we'll come over here to the trim. Pretty easy process. Left click on the square. There you go. We have our stamp outline. Thanks for watching the Squirrel Saw video.